वेलकम बैक प्रोग्राम तुम देख रहे हो साडा गैसट आवर गैसट और साढ़े अज के गैसट ने रिबैका लॉकवुड बैरिस्टर और सॉरी सिस्टर खास करके स्पैशलाइज करते हैं इमीग्रेशन लॉ के रिबैका वेलकम बैक थैंक यू वी वर टचिंग अपॉन योर एक्सपर्टीज एंड हाउ यू आर कनेक्टिंग यू नो फैमिलीज एंड मेकिंग द फैमिली यूनिफिकेशन ईजियर सो थैंक यू फॉर योर प्रोफेसनल सर्विसिज मूविंग हैड यू नो देर लॉट ऑफ अदर कैटेगरीज ऑल्सो हाउ पीपल कैन यू नो कम टू कैनेडा लीगली थ्रू यू नो वैदर इट स्टार्टअप वीजाज और एक्सप्रेस एंट्री वीजाज और मैनी यू नो families from around the globe they also tend to come to canada as a refugee mm -hmm. so do you want to touch upon some of these sectors and different you know categories definitely so there's three main streams of immigration in canada the business stream the family stream and the refugee stream okay so i've spoken already a, a lot about the family stream right. um, um and i think that the business stream and the refugee stream are two important uh, elements to, to talk about. Right. The refugee stream, um, people may come to Canada with a claim that they've been persecuted by an indi individual or group or a state abroad. Mm -hmm. um, and that has a very particular process and a very particular set of laws. Um, I have done a lot of refugee claims and appeals, so I know how, what that process looks like. Mm -hmm. um, I've also helped with people who may have come as refugees or may have come as students, mm -hmm. um, but whose, whose status expires. Okay. In Canada, okay. and they might end up going into immigration detention, um, or they're having t troubles getting reg regularized status uh, after the fact because their status expired before. Okay. So I also work a lot on inadmissibility issues um, and it, people who are in immigration detention to try and get them out and try to get them legal status in Canada. Okay, so so in those kind of detention centers, is the legal uh, uh, like access easily available? Like, how do they get in touch with the professional immigration lawyers? Uh, often, family members will reach out to me, okay. um, or somebody in the detention center. I might already be working with them, and they'll give my name to another um, a friend of theirs in, in the detention center with them. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is, when you're when someone's arrested and put into immigration detention, mm -hmm. they have different options for a review of that detention. Okay. Um, within 48 hours of being arrested, then within a week of okay. that time, and then oh. every month after that, if they're still in detention. Okay. And so that's called a detention review, and I do a lot. Of those okay so I will go to the detention center and I will argue why this person should be released and on what conditions um, and also often in those situations to be released you need a bonds person it's usually a family member or a friend who will put up a, a bond mm -hmm. or a, a, an amount of money to promise that you will abide by the immigration laws um, if you're released Okay, I heard a term recently. You know, it's called pre-risk, uh, pre-removal risk assessment, something like that. Yes. So, uh, do you assist or do you provide some kind of those uh, services to uh, people? Yes, I do. So, a pre-removal risk assessment is available to anybody who's made a refugee claim in the past. Okay. Um, and was not approved. Okay. And this is a final risk assessment before um, they have to leave Canada. Okay. Uh, and everybody's entitled to one of those with and and. That pre-removal risk assessment will keep uh, you, or will keep an individual uh, from being deported. Okay. But you can't be deported before that pre-removal risk assessment is it's done. Okay. Um, but that's only available to those who have made a refugee claim. Okay. So this is like a written refugee claim. Now, now it's not. There's no hearing. There's no interview. It's all on paper mm -hmm. um, and with evidence and documentation. And, and I do a lot of those in my okay. practice as well. Uh, you know, is there any legal aid also available to such cases? You know, like some kind of legal assistance. Those who can't afford, because I understand, you know, these kind of professional services they're not easy to afford. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so legal aid is open to people who are making a refugee claim or pre-removal risk assessment, um, and sometimes a humanitarian and compassionate claim as well. Mm -hmm. It's also available to those in detention. If they can't afford a lawyer, they can apply for legal aid to have someone do their detention review as well. Okay. Uh, some lawyers, it, uh, private lawyers, mm -hmm. will offer, will take legal aid certificates okay. and they will do it for free and, and then legal aid pays the lawyer. Okay. Um, and some people go to legal aid clinics and the lawyers, in the staff lawyers at the clinics will do the services for them. Okay, so are your services also available through legal aid if it has to? I'm in the process of applying to get legal aid, um, uh, to take on legal aid certificates, but very soon I'll be able to do that. Okay, okay. So, our talk is going on Rebecca Lockwood. If you want to know more legal practice, you can go to lockwoodlegal.ca and you can get the information. You can get a phone number, you can reach out to them. But you can get the associate offices in India, so you can get the name of your family, you can get the name of your family, and you can get the name of your family, you can get the name of your family, and you can get the name of your family, and you can get the name of your family, you can definitely reach out to lockwoodlegal.ca. So, uh, we were talking about starting 
startup, uh, you know, visas mm -hmm. as well, you know, express entry visas, the business category. Mm -hmm. So throw some light on those as well. Absolutely. So express entry is now the sort of, um, I call it the umbrella okay. business stream application process. Right. And it includes both professionals, uh, like engineers, lawyers, as well as skilled trades workers, like electricians or carpenters. Um, uh, and also students. So mm -hmm. it has it combines those three categories. What you do is uh, you apply first, and based on a, a variety of factors, your points are calculated. So you get points based on age, uh, education, language skills, uh, work experience, right. and they're tallied together. Uh -huh. um, and in the pool, every two to four weeks, uh, n a certain number of, of those people in the pool will be pulled out based on their point calculation. Okay. That that's good. So so um, based upon those uh, points, uh, they you know kind of achieve or they kind of uh, total out. Is there any further priority like based upon the particular category of their profession? Uh, do you mean are is there priority based on different professions? professions yeah. Um, in the express entry stream, which is a federal program, uh -huh. no. Okay. But in the provincial nominee programs, yes. Okay. So each province has uh, an ability to nominate a candidate uh, based on their skills and background and experience, okay. um, particular to different areas of, of expertise. Okay. Right. Uh, and then once you, if you're nominated under a PNP program, a mm -hmm. provincial nominee program, then you can go on to apply through express entry and you get extra points for a provincial nominee program. Uh, okay. Nomination. Okay. So in Canada, most most of the provinces have their own PNP programs in place, right? Some some are uh, you know like inviting farmers, agricultural people. Some are inviting truck drivers. Some are inviting engineers. Yes. So do you also deal with PNP programs? Yes, we do. Wonderful. Yes. Um, in the, each province has its own set of rules and its own specifications. So I usually help clients individually with that, um, based on what their experience is and where they want to settle. But yes. From, from Toronto, from Canada, I can help anyone sort of settle in Alberta or Manitoba or Prince Edward Island, okay. where, wherever they're looking to go. Well, this is a you know, unique year. We are celebrating Canada 150, you know, so Canada is open to visitors, tourists. So if anybody is having issues with the tourist uh, visitor, you know, like temporary permit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which is called the uh, visitor visa application, yes. does your law firm help in that as well? Yes, I do. I do help a lot. I just completed actually a very uh, complex visitor visa application, but um, but if that should yeah we do we do visitor visas no problem. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us finally we are running a short of time, but tell us something about uh, the work permits, like especially for students those who come here on international study visa once they complete their studies and they want to go through the work permit process. So tell us briefly about that. Definitely. The for students who are here under a full-time program, mm -hmm. they get an automatic work permit for the duration of which depends on the length of their study. Okay. So if it's a one-year study permit, then you get a one-year work visa, etc. Right. Um, and then you can work after that. This is great, especially if you want to apply for a permanent residence later, because it'll give you experience both studying and working in Canada. Wonderful. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you and uh, knowing you more, uh, you know, through this uh, interview and Punjab Television. My name is Adi Galba Chalri, Rebecca Lockwood. You have a legal firm, Lockwood Legal. You have a lockwoodlegal.ca. You have a question for any immigration-related question. You have to speak English, French, Spanish, Hindi, Punjabi. You have to speak English, French, Spanish, Hindi, Punjabi. Rebecca speaks all of those languages. If I've missed any, please let us know. <laughs> Italian and Portuguese I'm learning. As wow, well. wow. Yes. So a lot of learning happening. Yeah. In you know, so, Rebecca, once again, thank you for your visit, and we wish you all the very best in your professional career. Thank you so much for having me today, Manan. Thank you. Ashika Sada is the program, Sada guest. Agle program, which Nave Mahandu Laike, Fair Hazir Hoyi, Panja Pelvis, the team. Program, they can leave. Bohobo Shukriya, Sashikal, Namaskar, Adam.